timbrically, it's very rich, that family. And so when we are voicing, depending on if we overlap, let's say we've got flute, flute in octaves, and then we've got oboe in oboe, we're gonna get one sound. If we've got flute, oboe, flute, oboe, like this, we're gonna have a different sound. If we've got flute, flute, oboe and oboe here, it's a different sound, right? It's more homogeneous, more heterogeneous. These things will change the sound a lot. Now, if we are trying to do that with individual, let's flute one, flute two, oboe one, oboe two, and we're trying to build those textures, great, we have a lot of control, but it's gonna take forever. I prefer having woodwinds and samples. So what you hear is tone. Now, if I go up here, that's gonna sound slightly different because it has been orchestrated differently. Has a little bit more of flutes and clarinets 